hi guys welcome to uh, my youtube channel sv labs uh, today we are going to learn how to create a leaf material from scratch uh, to be used in uh, unreal engine 5 as you can see this is uh, this is ue5 uh, so i just named it as uh, circus is, uh, is the is a map i am i am creating at the moment so this is uh, this is all a, a work in progress and all the vegetation on the scene is using just one master material and everything everything is actually instanced to that master master material so we will learn how to create a master material and we will learn how to instance it uh, with uh, with controls on uh, on different parameters uh, i'll show you what we can control on the on the instance so today we are focusing on on vegetation uh for especially how to create a material for for leaf so this this leaf can be uh of anything like this 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 actually using a leaf texture uh this this plant is using a leaf uh leaf texture then if you if you look at the look at the creepers on the ground this is using the same same material and the ferns are using the same the same material so we will go in depth and learn how to create the mass material for this and use that mass material to to create multiple material instances which can be used on any uh, kind of leaf and you can tweak the parameters from there so i'll show you what uh, i mean by mass material so this is a mass material uh, that is that is uh, that is kind of running in the background uh, that is controlling all the uh, and material fun functions for the leaf and this is uh, the material instance that is being used by specifically this this plant over here so this is so this is a switch swiss cheese plant and the the leaf is using this instance instance material so as you can see we have different controls on you know the the albedo brightness and we have normal strength then how much roughness we want to add to the to the leaf material then the albedo tint uh, so i can control what what color the 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 leaf has to be then if i need color variation i can adjust it here we might not might not be using this color variation for our example but we can add it that that is very easy uh, addition then we can control the saturation of the leaf uh, translucency strength uh, then then Unreal Engine 5 has uh, has a weird bug uh, as of now. This is uh, 5.0.2 uh, as of now. So it it um, so by default this this uh, this uh, this leaf leaf material will uh, will create a really dark um, a really dark backside for the leaf. So that is that's a very uh, very very ugly. A way to uh, create a material so i found a solution where you can actually, actually use a a, a two-sided function inside the material inside the master material to uh, to remove that so i'll be showing you how to do that so this is a uh, th th there's a, th a rear texture brightness that actually you can you can define whatever value you want here based on the master material then if if, if you want dirt you can add dirt but in the example i won't be showing you how to use a uh, how to make this dirt but we can do it in a later tutorial then the, then these are the input te uh, textures and this uh, this shows like if this um, plant supports the wind animation that is coming from the from from a speed tree okay let's get started so first of all we need to create uh, create a master material so for that I go to content content browser um, under materials. Uh, I created a folder called master materials. So I'll go to that that folder, right click here, and just create a material. So I will name name it. Um, so for this specific scene, I'm I'm using C I R as as the starting for all the files because the file name is circus then 
for vegetation, I usually use uh, VEG just to just know what kind of material it is. Uh, then leaf. So since I already have a uh, have a leaf texture, I mean sorry, uh, a leaf material, I'll just name it as leaf zero one underscore M mat. M mat is for master material. So master material. So so that is a that's the master material we, we just made. So like uh, double click on that and, and open the master material. So the name shows here, uh, CIR underscore wedge underscore leaf zero one underscore M mat. So M mat stands for master material. So we need to define some uh, some parameters here before we jump into creating the material, creating the, uh, uh, bringing in the textures and adding nodes into it. So material domain is uh, is surface because it, because it is a it is a surface blend mode. Uh, we 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 will have to choose masked because opaque means it is it is any surface that it does not have any transparency. But in our case, our leaf has transparency, or you can call it uh, alpha. Uh, so I'm going to use use masked. So when I when I uh, when I choose masked, I'll get this opacity mask option here so when i when i go back to opaque it is not available so choose mask and a shading model i am i'm going to choose uh, two-sided foliage so two-sided foliage is a is a one that is that should be used for any kind of vegetation uh, if it has alpha so when i choose two sided foliage i get another option called opacity so this opacity mask is is a very hard mask which which, which only takes into account black and white values zero and one opacity uh, takes into account uh, the grayscale values so uh, so like it is a kind of, it's a kind of a soft alpha but we don't we don't need to use that we only need to use opacity mask because because uh, vegetation is 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 a very expensive uh, part of rendering. So if you have if you have a soft alpha as is used here, uh, it'll be very expensive. When you have uh, two or three cards uh, that is that's overlapping each other, uh, which could uh, which could lead, which could lead to higher amount of draw calls. So it's always better to have uh, opacity mask than opacity. So here I'm 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 going to choose uh, two-sided foliage, and don't forget to check this on two-sided. Otherwise, uh, uh, otherwise it won't work. So now we have the basic material uh, done. Then save it. Now we are going to add in the te textures that are that are required to make the material. So before starting the project you need to uh, create uh, about four different textures uh, they are basically uh, i will show you what they are so this te uh, te text will be used as a as a as a temporary um, uh, textures that will be used for uh, connecting inside the master material so i just named them as ph pages like placeholder so placeholder underscore so I have a color texture placeholder, then and then I have a grayscale, then a normal, and an ORM. So I will show each of these what they are. So P pH color is actually uh, it is a it is just a color co color texture. Uh, it can be any anything anything that has the RGB values. So the size is like 128, 128 by one twenty eight. That's a really small small uh, small image which which you can use in which can which you can use photoshop to create or whatever software you want to create so this is just just a, a color texture with rgb values so click this on srgb for this then the next one is uh, ph grayscale so grayscale is actually uh, the the same rgb texture with just with just white uh, same same size and it has the S S R G B turned off. Then the third one is a pH normal. 
so ph uh, ph normal is 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 a, is, a, is somewhat the same same size but but it has uh, it has uh, the the normal color in it so that is uh, if you if you say like r g and b r will be 128 green will be 128 and blue will be 256 so that is the uh, no, normal map which, which which will be used as a, play, a placeholder then the last one is an orm so orm is a a combination of uh, three different textures so o stands for occlusion r stands for roughness and m stands for metallicity so i'm using uh, these these three channels in this texture for combining them so this is a very uh, uh, very good way to optimize your te textures and also you can reduce the number of textures uh, used in the scene combining all of them into new one texture saves time and effort so if i turn this, all of these off um you can you can, you can see so th this is a uh, uh, occlusion that is that uh, that is the red channel green is roughness so or then m is metam metallicity so metallicity is um, is is black here because because the, the leaves um, for vegetation are are not metal anything in the uh, there's there's nothing in vegetation that is a metal so for metallicity you can you can just keep it as black so for the o, o, orm texture uh, please make sure to keep keep sr srgb off i mean unchecked and save it so the, so so the, so that's the basic uh, basic textures we'll be using to create the material here so you will understand why i'm using the uh, placeholder textures because if i if i use if if i, if I use directly if if I, if I use the final textures here to make the leaf i cannot call this as a master material because master material is just just uh, just a container that is holding all the information to make the instance material okay so now we are going to get uh, bring in all the placeholders yeah, so open the content drawer and i'm going to textures and i'm just going to type uh, ph underscore and i'll bring all these into our master material so we have so we have a grayscale here which which i'll be i'll be using as, uh, for a specific purpose keep it there this is the orm that is the occlusion reference and metallicity normal and i have this albedo so first we will just apply this textures here so before that i'm going to convert these into parameters right click convert to parameter so this is the albedo this is the normal and just 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 type in orm in caps and we can actually group them into 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 separate uh, locations inside instance inside for instance material so for the albedo a norm, n n normal and orm i'm going to group them into textures textures and you can actually set a priority here so for albedo, I'm I'm going to set priority as one because like that like, will be shown first. Then normal, I'm I'm going to choose textures and set priority to two. And for ORM, I'm going to choose te textures and set priority to three. And and I'm going to connect these in into the di di uh, different slots. So base color goes to base. Uh, I mean color goes to base color, and alpha goes to opacity mask. And for normal, uh, choose from RGB. I'm dragging it to normal. And for ORM, we have three different channels here. So, so occlusion goes to ambient occlusion. O, that is the red channel. Green goes to roughness. And uh, B, that's metallicity, goes to metallic. So now we have uh, the master material done for the start. So save it.
and uh, we'll go to content browser materials master materials so this is the master material we just made CAR uh, veg leaf 01 M mat so so we are going to create a, a material instance from this so right click on this master material and create material instance so for material instance I will name it as uh, IMAT so that is a uh, instanced material so IMAT so IMAT is a material instance and MAT is a master material so double click on this IMAT and as you can see we have uh, three three different textures for for plugging in so we have albedo we have normal and 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 we have ORM so we will first plug those textures textures in uh, we will test it and we will go from there so first check all these and go to content drawer turn this off then now uh, now the te uh, textures i need is uh, swiss cheese so the name is swiss if i just uh, type swiss i'll get all the textures that is specifically for that plant so this is uh, so so in my uh, personal uh, naming convention i did like underscore a is for albedo underscore n is for normal so underscore orm is for orm and underscore t is for translucency that is like uh, that is a kind of uh, transmittance so when when light passes through um, a vegetation uh, i mean a a leaf the back side of the leaf will get uh, a little bit of light that is uh, uh, that is coming through it that is called translucency we can have a mask or or we can have a texture to uh, to show it so right now we only have three slots so uh, albedo drag it to albedo then we have normal drag to normal and orm drag to orm that's pretty much it now one thing one thing you need to make sure is that the the orm uh, the srgb is turned off so uh, when i uh, when i open it i can see srgb is turned off so for this specific texture I can show you what uh, what the ORM means. So right now it is it is it is just showing. Um, so this R is the occlusion. That's the ambient occlusion. Then G shows. This is a in terms of R. So this is G is like roughness. That is so green is rough. So O R and metallicity is B. So that is just black. So that is the instance we have done. Just save it. Now go to the main uh, main map. Then this this is uh, this actually uh, we applied the the other material I made. So I'll just uh, switch it. So we can see how it looks. Select the object, go to details panel, and change the material to the one we just made. So let me choose uh, Swiss underscore. Oh no, sorry. This is. Um, No, I think we will not name it. Uh, um, leaf zero uh, one. The so leaf zero one. I Select it. So that material is now applied. So if you if you compare between these two, uh, it looks like the like this this one needs 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 a lot of uh, adjustment. So what I was talking about before is is this problem. If you look look below this leaf. You can see the leaf is like black, pure black. So whatever I do in this uh, in in this version of Unreal, um, I cannot get a, a a proper leaf material unless I do a manual fix on this. So if you look at this one, you can see that it is like it is getting it is bright and and it has that um, backside is also having that color and and, and it is not black so so we are going to fix it okay now first thing first thing we need to do is we need a yeah, we need a, a translucency for this because, because, because right now we don't have it so translucency is like when you go to the back side of the leaf and when when there is light shining sh sh shining through it the colors should 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 go to the uh, to the back side too so right now it is not having that property 
So go to the master material that is M mat, and I'll be making some modification to 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 this. So there's a slot for uh, transparency. So it is called a uh, subsurface color. That is that is actually that that is transparency uh, in um, Unreal. So for the sub, sub subsurface color, I need I need a texture. So what you can do is you can make a copy of this. Control C, Control V, or just press Control D. You can you can actually duplicate. So I'll just make a, make some space uh, here to so get it uh, maybe here and right click on it. Um, no, here change the, change the name to translucency, and this can be the same the same group to textures and sort priority. Keep it at uh, four. So like it will be shown as the fourth texture and connect this to subsurface color and just save it. So once you save it uh, in the in the in the in the main map, you will see kind of uh, kind of blue color below the leaf. So this blue blue color is like now coming from this texture because it, because it is using a, a, a temporary placeholder. Uh, we are we are seeing that blue color, but but even now uh, it has removed that that blackness. See, so that so light is going through it. Is uh, it is slightly uh, fix fix that uh, that problem we had before. So we are going to instance material, I'm at, and we have another option here called transparency. Now we should drag and drop that uh, sub subsurface um, texture into it. So this, so this is the texture for transparency that is um, underscore T and drag and drop it here. The moment we, we add it into the in material, we can see a change in the viewport. Now that the leaf is kind of bright and it is not as, 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 as dark uh, below the leaf as before, right? It, um, it, it's, it, it, it is slightly better than uh, the uh, the the last version. Okay, now we'll go to the next step. So the next step is to add some uh, some adjustments for uh, the albedo. So we need to uh, we need to find a way to adjust uh, its uh, its albedo brightness. Then we should be able to uh, give it a, a a tint. Then we should be able to uh, adjust the saturation. That is like how how bright the colors have to be. So that is that's one thing we need to adjust. So we'll add 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 those three into the into first into it first. So go to master material. Then we are going to uh, play around with the uh, albedo first. So move albedo here. So under albedo, uh, we need three things. One is uh, one is albedo brightness. So for brightness, we need to multiply this this color with a constant value. So for the multiplication, just type uh, type multiply here and get the multiply node. So we need a constant as well. So for constant, we are uh, like we have three types. I think we have four types. So vector one, vector two, vector three, vector four. So, so in this case, we only need to have vector one, because because we only need to uh, uh, to say if it is it is black or white, right? So, just press one on the keyboard and left click, you'll uh, you'll get this um, constant. So, like so so we have to convert this into parameter if you need to adjust this. You see inside the instance material, so right click and convert to parameter. And I'm going to uh, give it brightness. And and we are going to adjust the brightness of the RGB color, right? So drag and drop RGB here and drag and drop brightness here. And we can easily connect this to base color.
I'm going to add just one, one, one more thing. So for this brightness value, so we need to define a, 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 a group. Otherwise, it'll be it'll be shown as a as a as a default. I mean, in a default position. So for brightness, uh, we need to give it a default value as well. So a default value, what it means is, right now uh, we are multiplying albedo albedo texture with zero. So zero is a default value now. So that means like anything multiplied with zero will be zero. So right now it will be black. So we don't want black. So multiply this by one. If you if 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 you if you, like if you multiply anything with one, it'll be uh, it'll be the same the same value. So it won't make any it won't make any difference. So the default value has to be one. Then give it a group. Uh, so I'm going to create a new group called adjustments. Adjust uh, ad adjustments, and I'm going to give it uh, sort priority is one. So like it'll be shown shown as a first value. Now just save it. And we go into the map. And if we check, uh, there is no difference now because, yeah, because we need to adjust the values, right? So open this uh, IMAT. Uh, I'm going to drag it here so that I can, I can, I can see it in real time. Uh, give it some more space. Now we have something called adjustments up here. So this is a group I, I just created. So brightness. So one is uh, default. If I think that the uh, uh, the the leaf is too bright, I can I can I can I can make it like zero point five. It'll get darker. Or if I need to uh, make it make it really like really bright, just give it value of two. It'll it'll brighten it. So I'll keep it one for now. Uh, because because we don't have to change it right now because we'll have more uh, variations coming up soon. So I'll I'll just I'll I'll just minimize this middle instance because we are, because we'll be working on this later. So next I need to add uh, saturation. So how do I adjust the sa saturation value for this? So saturation is a bit uh, tricky. So what we can do is we can keep if we can keep the brightness values as as the as the first one, then after this we can do saturation. So saturation is like there is some there is something called desaturate inside uh, Unreal. So if you type saturate, uh, there is so this so this so so this has, this saturation is a kind of a clamp. So it is not the saturation uh, like like um, a texture artist or a 3D model is familiar with. So this the the saturate we are familiar with is basically adjusting the 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 color values the the color how um, um, how bright the color how bright or dull the color has to be. So this this saturate inside uh, Unreal is a kind of clamp. So it, so it clamps the value between zero and one. So that is not the one we need to work on. So it's called desaturate. So desaturation. So desaturation has uh, has has two has two inputs. So one is one is the input from the color map, and and the, and and the other one is the fraction. So fraction is so this is kind of uh, kind of multiplying this value with a fraction. So for fraction we uh, we can use a parameter node here. Just add and just how much how much bytes we want. So click click hold one and left click and convert convert this into a parameter and just say saturation so now the problem is this actually this is actually desaturating so uh, we can try this first then we'll tweak it so after this uh bright, bright, brightness adjustment drag this into the first node and saturation value fraction and drag this to the color the base color now i will save it so this suggestion has to be uh, so so default value keep it at one and use a group adjustments and sort priority keep it two so we have one for this two for this and save it now 
once you save it and when you go to the map you'll see like it is actually getting like desaturated right the the saturation has um, has has gone down so what is the reason for that now if you um now if i open this middle instance i can see there is a value for sa sat sat saturation now if i keep it at 0 it is going to saturate and if i keep it at uh, 2 it is going to desaturate actually we want this to happen in the opposite way in the opposite direction right so so when i type 2 it has to saturate it when i when i type 3 it has to be more more sat saturation so right so right now it is it is it is it's going the it is going in the opposite direction so what we can do is um i'm going to master material and for saturation right 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 after this add a one minus node so one minus node is actually uh, in in inverting it so inverting inverting this value uh, as we type so that is uh, type one minus so you get that one you connect this to here and connect this value to this output i mean this input i'll just keep it organized a little bit so that is uh, saturation adju adjustment now just save it now if you go into the map you will see there's a big difference so now it is back to saturation mode now when i bring back the instance saturation if i I make it zero, so like it's getting getting desaturated. Now if I type three, it's getting really really high values here. So this is what we want. So so higher values should give higher amounts of saturation, and lower values should give lower amounts of saturation. So I will keep it at one for now because I'm not going to change anything to this. So we can tweak it later. So we have so we have brightness adjustment, we have saturation. Now what we need is uh, we need to adjust the the leaf backside. If, if you look here, it is now uh, not like this. So this one is this one has a kind of you know this like this looks more realistic when you compare with this one. Does it because of the leaf the leaf backside is like very very dark. So how will you fix it? So all these can be done in uh, inside Albedo. Uh, now there is something called two-sided two-sided um, texturing node so this is what we want two-sided texturing so uh, texture side a texture side b then then we have uh, use of surface normals so we don't need to use this we need to use these two and we need to connect this te texture blend output to to the uh, base color so we need so what we need is we need two te textures for this what is like brightened this is a normal one texture side a is 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 normal and second one is the the te the tex te texture that is that is brightened which has controls to uh, to to adjust the 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 back side te texture b side b so side a is the front side b b is the back so we'll use this one as um so what i'll do is i'll connect this before the brightness bus okay so keep it here so this uh, texture a is this one and texture b i will connect that to uh, through a brightness pass um so i'll get i'll get a <clears throat> constant vector uh converted parameter then the rear brightness so this one i'm 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 going to keep it keep keep uh, keep default value as one and make it uh, group group adjustments i'm going to give it so this one is uh, one two and i'll give it give it as three is a rear brightness and i'll just connect this through 
okay so i uh, so i need to use a material i mean multiply node multiply this uh, albedo with brightness and connect that to the back side so 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 the logic here is uh we have the color a color texture uh of our albedo uh the the texture side a is the front of the leaf or, or you can call it top side and for the bottom side texture b is 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 a is bottom side which is in the same same texture but it's going through a a brightness control like we, can, like we can even add saturation if you want but i'm not going to do it now and connect this uh, texture blend output to this multiply so we're actually bypassing this to through a uh, two-sided texture and just save it so now what what you will see is there'll be one more control for the back side now i think we are getting the texture uh, for the back side but i need some controls to change the brightness so open the instance then we have rear brightness so i'm going to increase it to two see the brightness change changed for the back if i make it like uh, 10 you can see the back side is like getting really really bright uh, we may not need that much de depending on the, uh, the the vegetation asset you can adjust it so right now i'll keep it at five i think five should be uh, a good average value so now if you compare these two it is it is somewhat similar now now i need now, now i need to play with the saturation a little bit i'll, I'll keep it at uh, maybe around 2.5 to make it look like more you know like comparable to the one one oh, uh, one I already had. So let me check uh, what else we have in the in the other material. So in the so in the old one, uh, if I go to the material, I can see middle brightness. Then there is normal strength. Uh, normal strength we can adjust. I will show you how to do it. Roughness strength. A bit of tint. Uh, then color variation. I'm not going to uh, spend it here. Uh, in this tutorial, I, I'll do another one for that. Then saturation, uh, transparency strength we can adjust it, uh, but that is not not needed for now. Then then rear texture brightness, so that we already did. So so uh, I will just group group all of these into into one. I just select all of these and press C, so you can you can comment it. I'll do. Uh, uh, albedo controls maybe so that is that's for albedo now I will uh, do something for normal so for normal what we can do is we can actually adjust the uh, the normal strength so what's the normal strength so right now if you look at the uh, look at the texture Look at the leaf. The, the leaf is looking fine, but I wish like there'll be a little bit of more control over how um, deep or how uh, defined these uh, these vines are on the on the on the leaf. So it is possible to um, to adjust it using uh, some controls on normal. How much normal we can push? So in the, so in the material, I mean I mean I mean mass material. So right click on right, right click on the on the graph and type normal. So there is something called. Uh, I need to, I need to check what it is. Yeah, it's called it's called flat normal. So flat normal is actually uh, a a a function that that helps to make the normals flat. So we are going to reverse it just like just like the way we did here. For the uh, for the brightness, uh, no, 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 for for saturation, so we are going to reverse it. So this so this normal comes comes from here. So that is V three, so that is vector three. So it R G and B are connected here, and we need a normal flat flat flatness. So I get uh, one vector. Right click on this and 
convert to parameter and normal strength so keep keep default as one what is one and and the group could be adjustments i think it is five sort priority and give it flatness here and let's connect this to normal it will like it will look reversed but we can change it later so save it now if you look um the the normals have gone the normals are like flat if you like if you if you want to look at like more like more clearly you can go into debug mode so go into lit here uh buffer visualization and go to world normal now it is flat if you look at the other leaf you can see the normals are like very well detailed now here normals are actually uh, going off because we actually made it flat so how can we fix it so in so inside inside mass material uh, we need to flip this normal strength uh, give a one minus node here one minus and give it flatness okay and now save it if you check the map you will see the normals are back if you go into debug mode buffer visualization uh world normal you can see normals are back not only they are they are like they are back we, we have better control on how intense the normals have have to be on the leaf so i'm going to open this metal instance and we have metal strength here now one is uh, de de default and if i make it two you can see normals are getting really strong now if i go into uh lit, lit mode i can see the the leaves are getting getting more detailed but the problem here is that when i when i increase the normal strength um there will be a lot of dark spots on it which might look uh, very unnatural in some cases it it may not be the same for for everything but for this specific leaf uh, it doesn't work so i'll just bring it back to one so that it is it is more softer and it looks better now now save it now exit oh no yeah i'll just keep it there now so i, I think saturation is a bit too high give it a two two is good okay so we learned how to uh, how to create um, how to adjust the normal strength now the next is how to adjust the roughness so roughness values if you go into do, into into buffer visualization and go into roughness you can see how how rough or how uh, glossy the the leaves are so black means it, black means it'll be it'll be very glossy and white means it'll be very rough so in this case uh, it is it is very very rough right now because it because it's mostly white so without without adjusting the texture directly i can do it in the material so how will i do it go into um, the mass material i just give this a group and all normal adjustments or maybe normal controls oh okay keep it like that no problem uh, transparency keep it here so 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 we are going to work with the orm texture so so the first first one is uh, the uh, the red channel is the occlusion uh, we don't have to change anything green channel is the roughness because if you check this it is going to the the roughness slot so how do we change it so first of all we need a we need the same same method so bring in a multiply and a, a a vector so vector uh, i will do converted parameter and roughness value this then multiply uh, this green 
with the reference value keep it at one because multiplying, multiplying with with multiplying by zero will make it zero so keep it one and now now it's like now it's very easy right so just drag and drop it into the reference slot so we're actually slightly bypassing it here that's all we're doing now change this group to adjustments and maybe keep it six now save it now go into the scene now we are still in the debug mode now bring in bring up the uh, instance now reference value now one is by default if i keep it at uh, two it is like really rough if i reduce by maybe by 0 0.5 it becomes a really really glossy now 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 let's try and go into um, lit mode it's the leaves are getting glossier now i think we need a direct light to see it see the effect but compared to the previous one this is uh, this is very glossy now and i just reference value here i make it two getting very rough make it zero getting like glossy so now you can see the the leaf is like under you know like there is rain or something it's getting like wetness over it I just keep it at one for now default value save it so I think that is pretty much it for uh, for how to make uh, a, a leaf material uh, and make a master material use a master material across any number of leaves you want because you are making an instance uh, out of this like like what we just did um, yeah yeah that's uh and that's pretty much it uh thanks for watching uh please don't forget to subscribe thank you